there we go, um, that allows you to create files that you can put then into Cinema 4D. Now, I'm going to do my traditional ability, as you can see, this is why I do 3D and not graphic design. I love it. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I mean, I'm dead in, why is it, why can I not get a shape? What is going on with my illustrator? There we go. Not quite what I had in mind. There we go. Look at that. It was funny. I was in Illustrator earlier and I was trying to use Cinema 4D shortcuts. <laughs> I was like, why is it doing in and out? Why is it not working? <laughs> oh. So as you can see, my graphic design my, my graphic design skills are second to none. No one is as bad as I am. Um, but we nonetheless have paths and different things that we need to do in order to get them into Illustrator, uh, into Cinema 4D. Now, Cinema 4D will not recognize fonts that you come, that you can bring out of Illustrator. So we need to outline these first. So let's go to object and oh, where is it? I swear they keep moving stuff. Uh, can you right click and set some, uh, let me see. Create outlines. Yeah, that's what I normally do. Right, fair enough. Um, so right click, thank you very much, and create outlines. And that will turn your text into actual splines of inside and outside. So it's no longer editable in the fact that I can change what it says easily, but I now have lines. The same way with this one, this was a very simple line with a stroke. Now it won't bring that in properly either. Cinema 4D will just read the original line and not the thickness of the stroke. So if you need that to have its thickness, then we need to right click, hopefully, if it's here or it's somewhere else again, we can keep moving it. That's definitely up here. Object path, haha, <laughs> see? Outline stroke. So right, um, so go to object path outline stroke and that will turn the stroke into an inner and outer line as well and then we will go to file and we will save as this is the important part we save to our computer and we choose where we're going to put it and let's put it on the desktop because i'm naughty and let's call it export it's good that isn't now let's call it logo let's make more sense then i click save this is the super important bit OK, you need to choose Illustrator 8. This is because it was the last particular version that used something which I always forget the name of. Um, but a particular way that the fonts were created, the lines were created. So you need to click Illustrator 8 and then click OK. And then click OK and that will convert everything and then it will go away and I will minimize that. And now on my desktop, I'm going to go this way. You will see that I have logo.ai. And you can see it doesn't see much in here. And if I just do file and new, and I'm just going to drag and drop my logo AI into here, you've got scale in centimeters, you've got connecting splines and grouping them, click OK. And there, voila, is my logo. And in theory, I should be able to put that in an extrude. Wow, that's super long. And I have that. For those of you who wanted to know how I did that, I selected my logo. If I hold down Option or Alt on your keyboard and create an object, it will automatically make that object a parent of the object you have selected. So because it saved me a click, I decided to do that. So you can see that I now have my logo in there, which is a spline, which is technically still editable if I need it to be.